Our students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another video. And this week we're going to do the legs and the hips. All right, last week we did the arms and torso. This is basically the same thing. It's very, very simple to draw. And I always say that. I'm going to show you why and how. So let's get to the drawing table and let's get this thing started and keep it short. All right, let's go. All right, our students, here we are back at the drawing table, and today we are going to do the hips and the legs because you can't do one without the other. It just makes it a little better. All right, so this shouldn't take too long to do because it's uh, fairly simple, as long as I don't get too sidetracked with doing other things. All right, so in this little short series, I've been doing the body parts breaking down the body parts using shapes which is something that you need to do whenever you look at something whenever you look at anything regardless of what it is try to see the shape of it first before you see the overall and if you have been practicing shapes from every angles it makes things a lot easier makes th makes drawing things a lot easier all right so the hips uh if you have been with me for a while you know i always do the it's called the upside down house because that's the shape it basically takes when you draw and I'm using this mechanical pencil because I want it to be a little darker when you turn it upside down basically it's just a house and that's one of the things that we learn to draw when we're young as I said before in another video I think we learn to draw the house the smiley face and the stick man those are the, one of the three things we learn when we're young and nobody teaches us how to draw. So the hips are going to represent the upside down house, or I, I believe that it's like first home plate in baseball. So the men's, you want to just do that. So breaking it, breaking it down a little more, I'm doing a box and I'm putting a small triangle on top of it or on the bottom of it. Okay, so it just breaks it down a little easier. So once you do it enough, then you have that. So if I'm doing the, a man, I'm going to do straight up and down. If I'm doing a female, I'm going to go out a little bit like that. And then I think that might be more home plate. I think it's stress out of the side. I don't play baseball, so I haven't played baseball in 5,200 years. So that's going to be the, the female because women have bigger hips, wider hips, some. And that's a way when we start doing females, once I get the male body covered, I'm going to jump onto doing females as best I can without you two, you know, getting on me for breaking their rules. All right. So flip this over. Now, just like the arms that we did last week, the legs are the same thing. The arms, you have your oval for your um, torso. You have your circle for your delt. You have your oval for your bicep, tricep. And you have your cone. I don't want to call it a triangle because whenever you move it, it becomes a cone. Let me use my reference shape that I have here sitting somewhere if I can find it. I think this is, yeah, this is good enough. All right, so without the point, where's the one with the point? This is where my videos get long. And the reason I made these is just for this purpose to um, show you guys. So that can represent a triangle, a long triangle. Let's take this out the way. But the second you okay, represent a triangle or the forearm, the forearm, this part of the arm right here, okay? But the second you turn it, it becomes a cone. You see the opening and the more you turn it and arms are always being turned around and bent and so forth. So we call that a cone. When I'm doing the arms and legs, we call it a cone. So these are the three shapes you use when you do the arms, the arms. Okay, so same thing with the legs, except we're going to move these three around. All right, so let's go back with the hips. I'm doing a box with a small triangle on it. You know, you want to leave room for the man junk, as I call it. And same thing for the female, the, the, the lady junk. So you want to do this first. You want to do your oval first, but you, because your thighs are going to be big, you're going to be big. So from this point to this point, this is how I want this thigh. Okay, it's going to be big. Dep 
depends on the size of the person you're drawing as well. So after that, we're going to do the circle, which is going to represent the knee. And then after that, we're going to do the cone, which represents the shin. All right, same thing. So I'm just going to do this circle and then the triangle. So as I said, if you look at everything as a shape, it becomes really simple to draw. So basically, let me get a marker. That has already basically taken the shape that you're going to need once you once you detail it. So the thigh is always big. It goes in at the knee. The knee is like this. And it comes back out, same way the top of the triangle does, for the calf and goes back in for the ankle. So when you use those shapes, you basically already have it down. Now, let's throw the foot in there, too, because, you know, you got to throw the foot in there. You just can't. I'm not going to leave you guys with legs. So the foot is, or the feet are, again, triangle. Triangle. The body is just made up of shapes. Everything is just made up of shapes. That's the one thing. If I could beat it in your head to, to just to do that, just see the shape on something. Let's see if I can, this light can come over it. If it can go under the camera. Okay, it's dusty because, you know, I don't dust. I don't dust. I need a woman that dusts, okay? So when you look at this light, and this is just a you know, drawing lamp, drawing light, you know, what do you see? I see this as a potential triangle. I see this as a potential oval or square. And then as I say, once you, once you, um, and it's really dusty. I shouldn't have showed you that. <laughs> That's because it's sitting in the corner of my drawing table, which is against the wall, which is right next to a filing cabinet. So I don't climb back there. All right. As I was going to say, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. It was the shapes. You're taking shapes. You're taking shapes. Everything is made in one of these three shapes, circle, triangle, square. And you're chopping them off. You're chopping the ends of them off or whatever you need to create a different shape. So this one, like the lamp, I'm gonna, you would chop it off here and I would just round it off. And then the top could be a rectangle or square. And then I would just round it off here. And there is your light, there's your shape for your light. And it's, I'm looking at it, it's got ovals for openings. It's got the little button on top. And see, this is why my videos get long because I, I go, you know, I go above and beyond, which is, you know, the staple of a good teacher. So there you have it. It's just, I don't look at stuff in its whole. I, I, I look at it for a second. If there's something new to me, I'll look at it for a quick second. And then I'll like, okay, oh, that's nice. And then I'll see it as it is, the shape of it as it is. And then you're able to draw it. So if I turn that over a little bit, you would see the inside of it like that. So since this is curved, that would have to be curved too. And this is already round and just being, just saying, you see a light bulb under there. You don't see the light bulb. It doesn't stick out like that. But did you see that or did I have it off camera? I don't know. You see it now. This is why I should not stray. All right. So this, the foot is a triangle, split it in half. Now you have two feet separated, half a triangle, half a triangle. Breaking it down to you for you beginners. Uh, you guys that have been with me for a while, you already know this, but I'm taking it back to the very beginning. So there won't be no questions. So when we move above this, you'll be ready. And then there's half a triangle and like that. Okay. Now that can represent, let, let me square this off. That can represent the person standing because the foot is shaped, let's say the foot is shaped like an oval, right? You have your, I think it's called your instep little curve in here and then it's round like that that's basically the shape of your foot and then the other one would be the same thing now some people stand with their feet straight some people stand most people stand with their feet out a little bit it just holds the weight is balanced and some people have that duck walk that's what they call that duck walk because the feet are out like that so this by doing a more of a narrow triangle, not a long triangle like that, this is going to represent your natural stand. 
Okay, it's, you can you can the more narrower it is, the more you stand, but your foot actually goes out. Let me see if I can use what's close to me, and this, the little guy is close. He's on my shelf that I said was next to my not my shelf, my whatever case it is. If you look at it like this, let's see if I can get it on camera. This is flat. This goes in. This is flat. And this is going to come out more of that triangle. So if you're standing in a normal position, I'm trying to get it. So I'm looking in my monitor so that you guys can see what I, I need you to see. Like that. Some people, I'll give you a more overshot. Some people, which most people stand, we stand with our feet a little bit out. Let me stand him up to get his feet right. Flat. We stand kind of like that with our feet out a little bit. Some people have that, as it's called, a duck walk. That's what people call it. They, they, their feet are out like that, and they walk like that. So this, when you're when you're standing, and just say you whatever you your pose is like more like this. You'll have your triangle out longer like that, <clears throat> and when you're standing with like such as this foot, it'll be like that. So that can that will determine. Um, how a person is standing. So the inner foot, because when you do your foot like this, you can always put this little piece, it's like a little square off to show that this is where your toes are gonna go. So you have your ankle, your inner ankle is higher than your lower ankle because some, when some people draw feet, they do this little circle and then it just lets them know the ankle and it comes down like this and you square that off like that flat and you can do that okay because that represents that the the inner part right here the the end soul i think that's called end soul and then because you did this little square here you can bring this over and down a little bit and that represents um where your toes go because your toes are here 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 is that what is that four toes or five toes i don't know but yeah so if you're your foot is out more to the side, you just make a little longer triangle. But it's still a triangle nonetheless. Simple shapes. See everything in its most simplest, simplest form. Okay? So, if I did this leg, I'm going to do this, bring it in. Here's my calf. Since this foot is turned out, I'm going to do more of a side. Here's my calf. My calf goes down. Thigh. Thigh is going to be a thigh. No matter how you turn it, the thigh is still going to be thick. Thighs right here, the knee is here, knee gets a little bit of a, a mountain like that, just a little bit, a little bit of a bump from the side, and then your shin is flat, kind of flat, but kind of curves in, especially for the female leg, like that. So three simple shapes, three simple shapes. So here's your knee, and then you got your calf muscles, and then you got your, your thigh muscles, and we'll get into all that later. But a lot of people want to do that. They want to jump in there, and they want to throw those muscles in there real quick. And they don't know how the muscles connect or where they go and so forth. And it gets, especially when you try to do like a Hulk character, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So what happens with the leg muscles, the legs go up like this. That's why when you have like toys and stuff, you have this little shape in there. But it's not really shaped like that. but it's still that shape, the shape of the upside down house. It's just easier to just do this to get your basic shape together, to get the form right. And then you come back later, just like I did, and you cut into it to make, um, make everything even better. All right, so let me do the females real quick. And then... That'll be it for this video. I'm trying to keep them short because I, I you know, I, I, I want to respect your time and I don't want to um, go off like I did this. But everything I do is to teach you guys to make you better artists. Look at your anything. Look at anything with its basic shape. If it's more square, then you know you're dealing with squares. If it's more round, you're dealing with round, round, roundness like the mouse. I'm going off again. I'm going off. So you see, just look at it as its basic shape. Female, female, same thing. 
upside down house except I'm going to bring it out so in essence what I'm doing is I'm doing a triangle for this part and then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do another triangle on top of that but I'm just going to use this 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 and that so break it down into a simple shape and I did that and the legs are going to probably come off but that's okay so with the females you can give them big thighs I'm going to these legs are going to be a little shorter because it's going to come off if I do it naturally circle and again the cone so oval circle cone and then again with the feet so you want to, the women want a smaller feet naturally and if you want to make them athletic or um, skinny or just natural then that determines the size of like the thighs and and the, the stomach and the hips and so on because you can give somebody a narrow hips you can give her narrow narrower hips and it's still going to be a woman you know bring in and you know, a little bit of out there we'll get into that later though or you can give them wide hips wider hips for that you know that that more thicker you know curvier kind of female and that's her stomach right there the, the big thighs like that so it all depends on this particular shape for hips and hips are just just that shape until you get to the side and the side of it is just this it's kind of like a heart almost it's like a heart that you chop in half except you're just using this here and I want you to get this first before we get into you know sides and so forth you want that there and that's going to be the leg right here so that's the buttocks that comes up, that's your, your, the waist, and then it goes up into the back. And then the stomach comes and it goes in because the bone is like this, it goes like that. It's the same way for the man too, but it's going to be a different shape. All right, so we'll do this. And I say the women, the women, men have more of a chiseled um, edges and a woman has more of a flow with her legs. And if I can keep this from, it's running out of lead. I found this, this, I found this and I haven't opened it up to see how to put more lead in it yet. I'm just, it's, it had a good eraser. That's why I found it. I picked it up. It's like, oh, it's a good eraser. I would have just walked over it. So you just have to get like books. It's practice. It's practice. Get books on, um, let's show female legs. And then just try to draw that. You look at the, the comparison between men, a woman and a man's leg, and yeah, you know it's a great difference. It's a really big difference. And that's a problem with beginners. We tend to draw um, more men, and then we try to draw women, and women have the big man's shoulders. <laughs> and yeah, that doesn't work unless you're trying to draw a um, She-Hulk male edition. So we have this, I'm just gonna, and already just because of the hips, you can tell, you know, it's more of a female and it's not, it's not, you know, the manly uh, shape. So even with big legs, you can tell just by the, the, because this comes in to the waist and then it goes out. Whereas the man's is just gonna go up a little bit because of the um, obliques or love handles. And then the, the sits on top of that, the torso sits on top of that. So the woman, you're going to go in and out, and then the torso sits on top of that. But she's going to have a smaller torso than a man. So let me just kind of see if I can get the shapes of a female. A man's going to have bigger calves. A woman is not. Unless she's a power lifter, but depends on your, your drawing of your character. So it's just gonna go, it's kind of like two mountains. It's gonna be go up, down, and up like that. Like almost two mountains. And then a lot of times for the inside, you can almost do flat-ish. 
I'm <clears throat> drawing from the side. You can do almost kind of like a flat with a little bit of curve. And then you, you still have your leg. When you turn it over, you still have your leg because your knee is going to be right here. Here's your calf and your foot down here. And here is this part right here. And when I draw quickly, this is exactly what I do. I make this as flat. And I bring it in and come out like that. And then later on, I'll add some curves. But you don't have to add, you don't have to add that much curve inside. Yeah. It's a mouthful, I guess. Or I should just breathe more. <laughs> and then you have your, your foot comes out like that. You flatten this off here. Instead of a point, flatten it off. And then you have your legs. As I said, you just have to, it's, 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 um, it's just practice. It's just time. And I have, there is at my job, there is a, they've started a, is a comic book. I'll tell you more details. It's just, I just went to the first one. They have started a comic book drawing and writing club. And I saw that the other day. And I said, let me go and see what these guys are about. So I went in there and, you know, they saw what they were doing. And I told them, hey, you know, I draw or whatever. So they asked me to show some stuff, show some drawings. So I'm going to start showing. I'm going to start showing drawing lessons. What am I saying? I'm just going to start showing drawing lessons in that club, which is what I'm saying is, if you are in the Georgia area, and I'll tell you more about the club. As I said, it's the first time that I did it. I went, so I don't really, I didn't get all the names and the people yet. But if you are in the Atlanta area, um, Jonesboro, and you know where Clayton State University is, come down, check out the, the, the club, and say hi, and, you know, sit in on a couple classes. Clayton State University, Jonesboro Road, if I'm not mistaken, 2000 Clayton State Boulevard. Look that up. If you're, if you're in Georgia, come on down. Every Thursday at 5 to 6.30. Yeah, so that just giving these guys a plug because, you know, I like what they're doing. They're starting out on, you know, right. And I, I want to give as much help to people as I can. I want to be a blessing to as many people as I can. Okay, so uh, you've got the side. Just remember the hips are like this. The hips, the bone. It's kind of like that. The stomach actually is not part of the, this is the hip bone. The stomach comes in and it goes down. Now, if you want to do a fat stomach, then you do something like this. Okay, so same thing with the man. Uh, uh, but the woman, I would give more of a curve like that. The man, I would make it more of a flatter, not a flat butt, but just, you know, give less curve. And then more back coming out. But it's going to be the same thing for the man on the side. You just have to play with it. So 23 minutes, I think that was pretty good. I, I, I covered all my bases, I believe. I gave you a little something extra. Um, that's the front. And the same way with the arm. I'll give you another couple minutes on that one. If the leg goes up the same way, this is this is the oval. When it goes up, it's going to be a cone. So if he bent that leg up, oh, let's put one down, one down. So if he bent that leg up, it's going to, you're going to see the inside of that cone, it's going to be like this. You're going to have the knee right here inside of that circle. And let's erase this. And that cone, did I say cone? Cylinder, <clears throat> that cylinder, because that's, that's wider and it doesn't come to a point. So it's a cylinder. Knee is right here and if you, Take that cone, sorry, it was a hiccup. If you take that cone and you put it back, shall we say, it's gonna go like this. You're gonna see inside of that, it's gonna go back like this. And then the foot is gonna be here. And that's how you make the person bend, just like the arms I did. It's the same thing as the arms. So it just makes it easier. And you know, the more that you turn up a cone, Cone, get off the cone, Brian. The more that you turn up a cylinder, the more opening you see, the shorter it'll be. The roundness of the front has to be the exact roundness of the back if you're doing a cone. So I'll say here's my knee right here, and I'll just put this, since it's going back, I'll put this underneath that ball. And then this one, let's just say, put this here. Here's my 
the knee, which is the ball, which is going to be behind that. And the cone is going to be behind that. And then there's my foot back there. So that's how you would end up um, making the person move. It's just taking the cylinder and then just move it. Or this is, again, why I say you need to draw shapes as much as you can. And on the delts, which are here, the arm, it basically just imagine it just rolls around. There goes my pen. It just rolls around on that ball. And the same thing on the knee. So you have your, your um, thigh, you have your knee. And it's like this connected three shapes. And it's just going to roll the bottom of your, your shin. It's just going to roll around on that ball. So just imagine that ball being stuffed into this hole here. It's a separate, it's a separate part. You have this and the ball. And then it's just going to roll around that. This is this is not going to move. This is, ball is going to stay there. And then when you ink it, let me grab another pen. Everybody's sliding off my table because it's at an angle. And when you ink it, you're just going to add your detail. That's going to come out like that a little bit. And then you pens don't write. These pens sit here for a while. You just connect. You just connect. And that's why you're drawing them really close to one another. You're drawing them close, almost touching. Because a lot of books that tell you put another circle right here and don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. That's just me. You can if you, if you use it. Like I said, just keep them close. And then when you do, finally draw your detail. You've got everything. I'm just coloring this to get rid of some of those lines. You've got everything in place already. And it's pretty much the right shape because you use the right shapes to draw it in the first place. So, yeah. All right, that's going to be it for this quick tutorial. So, um, as I said, I was working on the man. I'm going to start working on the female, especially like the chest and the shoulders for the female. But I think the next one is going to we're going to work on hands, hands and probably feet at the same time. So that's going to be it for this video. Quick, short and sweet to the point. And I will see you guys next Friday or Saturday. This video is going up late. I try to put a video up every Friday. If not, it'll be up Saturday morning, midday, or evening, Saturday. So that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep drawing. Work on your shapes in your spare time. Draw those shapes. Draw those shapes. Draw those shapes. I'm looking for the square. Draw those shapes wherever you can as stuff falls all over my floor. Draw your shapes in every possible angle. Start chipping them away to make other things um, from those shapes. All right, that's it. No more talk. Later.